Roman Sick is the CEO of Holoplot, and today we're going to talk about their work with the MSG Spear. Roman, thank you for joining us today. First, tell us, when did Holoplot first get involved with the project? So we actually got in contact with MSG in uh, 2017, and back then it was actually not a sphere. Uh, it had a different different shape. Um, it had a similar large vision. It was pretty clear in terms of um, what Jim Dolan uh, wanted to achieve with the project. That this, you know, was not meant to be another arena. He really wanted to create a completely next level. Um, entertainment experience on large scale that at the same time I think um, feels very intimate. And where in the process did your team get involved with the research and development of the sphere? We already had a good extent of the technology but it wasn't at the level of performance that was required for this kind of venue. It didn't have the SPL, didn't have the frequency response because it was designed for different purposes. So one big development and research part for us, okay how do we step that up to that performance level and the other side was the system design. There wasn't really a, a, a blueprint on this is how you create this best experience because it hasn't been done before. What will the exact performance parameters will be? What will be the exact final weight will be? What will be the exact final dimensions as you're going through product development? Everything was kind of coming together at the same time. And then ultimately on the integration side, um, as you know, this the system is for the most part integrated behind an LED screen. So that has some impact on the audio quality, of course, and what, what's the transmission loss that you can expect and how can we make that minimal. That was quite complex because we're not a traditional line array system or, or point source system. And then ultimately we developed an algorithm to compensate for these transmission losses to make that um, almost acoustically invisible. And um, yeah, many many other topics, right? From like, how do you do uh, how do you do metering for a, a system at that scale? Um, how do you do commissioning and, and tuning for a system at that scale, um, so that it comes to timeframes that are uh, acceptable? The sphere utilizes 3D beamforming to help shape the sound. For those who may not be in the know, can you explain what 3D beamforming technology is? 3D audio beamforming is really the ability to control sound on the vertical and on the horizontal axis independently from each other. By the system design that we have with a high number of individual drivers and the software algorithms that we're using, we're, we're forming, we're shaping different types of wavefronts depending on the application and depending on the audience. And what it allows you to do is really to bring the sound to the desired area uh, and avoid areas where you don't want to have sound and usually that's the most important part. I think there's a huge difference um, also to conventional systems. So you don't have that power zone right in the front where it's extremely loud and you don't have that drop to the, to the back. It's a completely new way of how you can utilize sound. So another one of the technologies that you guys use is something called wave field synthesis. Can you explain that for us too? The, the concept behind Wavefield Synthesis really is the um, uh, authentic reproduction of an original wavefront. So let's say there is a plane um, that you know flies from left to right. Wavefield Synthesis can be used to recreate that exact wavefront of that object and move that kind of in real time. The advantage is that the localization is accurate for everyone in the audience. Everyone will perceive that object at that position in the right distance. Even if you're very close to the speaker array, you cannot really tell that the speaker's on. What you will hear is that object at that position. And that can come down to like a whisper in my ear that only I am hearing, although I'm sitting in a large scale venue. And we're using wafer synthesis in combination with other special audio techniques or rendering techniques um, as well as 3D beamforming. So in the end, the, the user sometimes doesn't necessarily realize, oh, now I'm using this or now I'm using this. It comes into like a seamless, I want to create this experience. And our applications allow you to do that pretty, pretty seamlessly. Well, I'll tell you what, Roman, this looks like an incredible project that you and your team at Holoplot had the opportunity to work on. And it's really exciting to see everything come together. Now, Tell me, what gives you and your team the most pride when you look back at everything that you guys did for this project? Many things. Um, one of the things that always amazed me is that there were really like consistent 
significant challenges. While we were doing that massively challenging project, we were also developing the product and we were developing the company. We grew over that time from 10 to, you know, 130, 140 employees. We built the production side, you know, we developed an award-winning product. We, you know, got everything shipped. And this was during COVID and during a supply chain crisis. So there's <laughs> quite a lot of things that I would say uh, I'm quite proud on how the team managed it and they're uh, absolutely heroes, uh, all of them. I got one last question for you, Roman. What kind of impact will this have for the entertainment industry? I think that this will change the industry, right? I think this is the first time this has been attempted. Every time something of that scale is done for the first time, there is you know, a lot of skepticism whether this can work, etc. I think that the expectation um, in the general public or in the consumer, so to say, is also rising, right? So if we go out to have live entertainment experiences, they really need to level up. And I think Sphere is a prime example for where that where that's gonna go in the next couple of years. Yeah, I'm, I'm very thrilled to see what's, what's coming next for the industry.